When you think about the war against Islamic terror, you may think about a Navy SEAL team or a drone strike. But what about an attack on a bank or sting operation? In her new book, Harpoon, Nitsana Dashan Leitner describes a secret war against the lifeblood of any terror organization, money. We talked with Leitner in our Jerusalem studio. Harpoon is the untold story of a circuit unit in the uh, intelligence services in Israel. It was created by the uh, legendary former head of the Mossad, Mayor Dagan, mm -hmm. who realized that in order to fight and destroy the terror organizations, you must go after their financial infrastructure. And he created this unit and gave them a directive. Follow the money, target the money, kill the money. How successful was Harpoon? Very successful. Um, first of all, they were able to separate um, Arafat from his money. They were able to separate the leaders of the Hezbollah from their money. What this unit, Harpoon, did is trying to tackle the uh, Hezbollah uh, finance system by first um, bombing their banks from the air. I mean, it was the first time that during a war, um, you don't target the militant, you don't target the soldier, you target their bank. And that caused Hezbollah during the war a devastating harm because not only they lost all their money, they lost the computers that had the information where the money is. And I think the best proof that this financial warfare uh, succeeds is the uh, Iranian agreement. The mere fact that Iran went down on its knees and for the first time agreed to negotiate an agreement with the United States and the UN and the other nations is only due to financial pressure. And this financial pressure began in Israel. Mm. It started with this unit. This is a whole new front in the war against Islamic terror, is that right? Absolutely. The Islamic terrorism relies on funds, Money, in the end of the day, is the oxygen to the terrorism. And if you stop the flow of the money, you can stop the flow of the terrorism. And it became a new frontier because they understood that money can kill. We're talking about people's lives, aren't we? 100%. In the end, it's also the story of the victims because um, the victims are the players in these lawsuits. They are the one who have to file this lawsuit. No other one person can do it. And indeed, no money can bring back life. And no money can heal a devastating wound. But the money gives a measure of justice to the terror victims, gives them a measure of closure and give them a way to fight back. But you're also preventing future attacks. Is that true as well, when you're blunting their source of money? Right. When mm -hmm. we file lawsuits against banks, no bank agreed anymore to open bank account to a designated organization. It's too risky. It's not worth their while. When you realize that you're stopping future terror attacks and saving lives, how does it make you feel? Look, we live in Israel. And we want to send our kids to school and make sure they're coming back safe. We want to sit in our cafes and ride our buses and shop in our malls. And we want to live safely in our country. So in order to do that, we must take any step we can utilize any tool we have and fight in all fronts in order to make sure that we will live safely in our country. This is our country and the only one. And by knowing that with these legal lawsuits, I was able to give compensation to the victims and also perhaps prevent the next attacks, that makes me a very proud Jew, a very proud Israeli. Would you call Harpoon one of Israel's startups? Absolutely. Perhaps the greatest start of, of them all. It was so innovative. It was so creative. And, um, you know, it's the, uh, the Israeli brain to come and to, uh, and to utilize this sort of uh, system. And from something very, very small 
today they became not even not big enough in Israel, but big in the entire world. Uh, their tactics and strategies are adopted by every Western country. What does the West need to know about this war on Islamic terrorism? A major way to stop this Islamic terrorism is start a financial warfare against them because it works. A terror organization is like a corporation, it's like a company. They need money. And, and the advantage is that one foot of the terror organization is in the terror world, but one foot is in the legitimate world. And this is where you can tackle them. And this is how you can really bring Islamic terrorism to an end. But it has to be done by all the nations.